What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out MJF throws major shade at Brandon Walker. Answer the internet, man. MJF, he is he's just on top of his game, man. He is easily one of the best new generation of wrestlers we have seen in quite some time. The dude gets it when it comes to psychology. His promos are on another tier compared to other and others. And he's arguably one of the best heels in the business, bro. In my opinion, he's easily <laughs> damn near one, damn near top five. I'd put him at maybe maybe two or one honestly you know what i'm saying he, he's just he's just that fantastic so i want to shout out this channel barstool wrestling uh he uh they did a uh it's like a wrestling podcast and they did another interview with mjf uh four days ago go check it out i i didn't want to do a reaction to it because honestly i just wanted to sit back and watch this podcast and the dude is so good bro <laughs> it's like he stays within character but he's giving you some truth bombs at the same time like he's not it's like he's not breaking kayfabe at all he's literally an asshole and it's it's fantastic and i, I love it so definitely uh check out barstool wrestling mjf exposes his negotiations with tony khan uh is check out their podcast um it's 52 minutes of great, great stuff. You guys will definitely enjoy it. But let's get right into this one. This should be a good one. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's do the damn thing. Cry and cry and cry. Oh, no. I got you. Go Crying too. all day long. <laughs> really? I will cry and cry and cry. All right, this should be a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the youngest and fastest rising star in the history of professional wrestling, and Thanks. I am here to answer the internet. Who's hotter, Ariel or Jasmine? Does Ariel have legs yet? <laughs> um, yeah, let's say human, and, but that also means... But what if I don't want her to have legs? <laughs> maybe, maybe I want to be under the fucking sea. Huh? Yeah, better. Huh? Better. Yeah! You know. Would you rather be able to have sex with any five people with any five people for a year, or get to powerbomb whoever you want, whenever you want for a year. I literally do the second one year <laughs> round. Yeah. So I guess the first part. Yeah. That was pretty <laughs> easy. Which celebrity would you most want to see in a sex tape? Woof. Um, see, my brain immediately goes like to a grotesque place, because like, I can look at any woman naked if I want to now. God invented the internet. So <laughs> yeah. I think I'd want to see like, someone like gross and fat. I want to see Oprah fucking. That would be rad. Hey, yo. <laughs> That's the first thing he goes to is Oprah. The the vi the image that just came to my head. Whoa. That's wild. Oprah is the first thing. I, I want to see Oprah get piped down. What? So MJF wants to see Oprah fucking. Please. <laughs> If you were in an open field with an aluminum aluminum baseball bat. Did he say Rosie O'Donnell? Because he, he was on the Rosie O'Donnell show as a kid. That's crazy. How many 10-year-olds with bike helmets could you take down before they... Uh, dude, an infinite amount. And <laughs> my aim is so precise and immaculate. Would you... Do you, you think you would uh, at some point... Like the, the morality of just pummeling kids with that... Oh, no. I'd be laughing the whole way through. And the funny thing is, I believe every single word. Because he... He's the salt of the earth, bro. He is the salt of the earth, and people love it. He is literally detestable. People love it, bro. And I'm one of those people. What does that say about me? Would you give up an inch of penis length for an inch of height? Dude, I could give up seven inches, and I'd still be fucking packing heat. So, yeah, chop my dick off, basically. Would you rather have your porn search history shared with your Twitter followers or your parents? Dude, post it on Twitter. I don't give a shit. No. Yeah, I don't talk to my parents. They fucking suck. <laughs> It is crazy because when they come to the shows, they'll wear shirts. His parents will wear shirts. Yeah, we know our son's an asshole. We hate him too. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, bro. He, I love this, bro. MJ, I'm going to be honest with you. I, well, I'll save it for after this video, man. Hate him. Uh, what's the porn history like? Any weird shit in there? No, just normal, classic, like, MILF, um, stepsister, <laughs> fucking, like, DP shit. I'm a man. Just normal shit that everybody else looks up. Would you rather have sex with two midgets or two seven-foot-tall girls? 
So this is an interesting. Mm. This is interesting. I like my woman on the short side, mm. but I don't want them that short because I'm nervous it would go all the way out the other way. Oh! So I'm gonna go with the tall chicks just so I don't murder anyone. Oh! Think <laughs> ahead on that one. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to go to jail for sex. Then I'd be like Brandon, except that's because he's sleeping with little boys. Oh! What's the youngest age? <laughs> God damn! Age child that could beat you up. None. Is there I could. Any child in the world, like I, you know, you see those like kids in Russia who were like fighting a fucking tree growing up. Dude, I'll fuck bears. those Russian kids up and the bear. <laughs> I'm MJF. He said, "I'll fuck the Russian kids up and the bear." <laughs> Fuck all of them. You guys remember the meme of the fucking bear over there <laughs> helping train the Russians in the, in the woods? I'll fuck the bear up. I'll fuck the kid up. MJ was great. Come on. What is that? For a lesser man, I'm sure they'd have a better answer, but would you rather date a girl who constantly sneezes on you or who constantly farts during sex? Sneeze on me all day long. The last thing I want to do is just... <laughs> I don't like smelly sex. If you're into that, mm -hmm. cool dude, weird fucking kink. Yeah. But it's not my thing. Yeah. So yeah, just sneeze on me all day long yeah. as long as when I'm fucking you, I don't have to like smell like just gaseous fumes the entire time. Nah, bro. I I'm with them on that one, bro. If we having sex and you let one rip, that's probably going to turn me off. I'm just, whoop. All right. It's time for me to go to bed now. <laughs> that turned me off. Completely. <laughs> if you can make your girlfriend's breasts as large as you, they already are, as large as you <laughs> wanted, they already are, but yours would be the same size, how big would you go? We're fine. I'm not changing a thing. All right, My, say, say you're starting from scratch with her. So starting from scratch? She is, she so is so she's, she's a double D with like the skinniest waist you've ever seen. So I guess, yeah, I, I guess my but tits. You would have a double D. I guess I'd have to put up with it because I just love slapping those fucking things around. <laughs> Also, it could, it could be cool in my profession, yeah. like be the wrestler with with, with huge tits. Could the be a, it could be something there. If you found a porn online of your buddy and his girlfriend, would you watch it? Would you say anything to him? I'd watch it and I would immediately tell him, <laughs> and I would make him feel so bad about it. <laughs> I'd be like, "You make weird faces. Your dick looks weird. Like that would, dude. Please send me a video. Should you lock a dog out of the room when you're having sex? Okay." So I have a cat, love my cat. Cat's name's Piper. When it's go time, when it's time for the fiance to hop on the maximum ride, love- <laughs> The maximum ride, I fucking, he was born to be a wrestler, bro. Piper to death, Piper's going out the door. Cause it gets loud, it gets sweaty, mm -hmm. and it's not a safe <laughs> environment for any pet. <laughs> Hey, I do the same thing to Blunny. I don't know if y'all seen Bunny in the back, but anytime I've ever done something like that, nah, I just gotta. Sometimes she she may be in there on like we just in the moment, and I'm just not about to rush to get my dog out or whatever. But a lot of times, I'll just close the door. I'll just close the door or whatever, and you know, just do what I do, and then afterwards, I'll open the door and let her in. If you could pick <laughs> one country to run, what would it be? America, hundred percent America. One day, maybe. You never know. MJF. Well, good point. Um, good point. I'm not even going to deny that. I'm not even going to deny that because it's the truth. We run the media. Thank you. Would you rather prematurely come in your pants before sex or start crying mid-sex? I'm crying all day. <laughs> I will cry and cry and cry because there is nothing more. See, your response to me makes me feel like you come way too fast. If you're... If you Come fast. That's something that can and does happen to guys. Crying. Maybe you. <laughs> no, <laughs> Maybe no, no. you. See, I, you seem like a great guy, <laughs> but it sounds to me like you have an issue. <laughs> and it's not, it's not an issue I have, nor is it one I ever want to have. So I'm. How long does the sex with MJF last? <laughs> <laughs> the devil goes in. Thank you. The, the devil right. goes in. Nice celebrity you'd have a chance with if they got to know you. <sighs> Sadie Sink. There's something about Sadie Sink. I don't Maybe it's know who like that a, like, is. Redhead thing, mm -hmm. but there is something. And you think if she met you, that she'd be like, I need some MJF. Stranger Things is that. Oh wait a minute, is that who I think he's talking about? Wait, 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 wait. Sadie, I know the names. Yeah, that's what's her name from? Oh, I knew it. It sounds familiar. That's what's the name from? Uh, 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 Max from Stranger Things. That's crazy. He was about to say something. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. <laughs>
If you were taken hostage five years ago, what would, what would surprise you most about the world today? The fact that Brandon Walker has a podcast oh. and is making money. Great <laughs> fucking answer. No, I'm not even kidding you. That's a great fucking answer. If you saw it five years ago... To, to You'd be like, this fucking guy? Oh, this bumpkin from the sticks? I can't believe he has a job. Oh, man. That was great. That was, that was fucking fantastic, man. I enjoyed that video. MJF, he's goaded, bro. He's one of the best to do it, man. One of the best to um, just put out... Just consistently elevating himself consistently being one of the best things on aew he is a a draw people want to see what he has to say people want to see him get his ass kicked people want to cheer him people want to boo him he gets a reaction he gets a genuine reaction every time he comes out there be honest with you he got wardlow over that Wardlow situation, that when they were teasing Wardlow turning, it was really because of MJF's heel persona. He got him mega over. He's not as over as he once was, and hopefully they can fix that. But he, bro, he got him over. CM Punk, MJF feud. Probably one of the best feuds from last year. Easily. Easily. The dude is a natural talent, bro. The stuff he did with Cody Rhodes, just fucking great. And he, he stays in character. He stays in character. Now, what I was about to say uh, in the middle of the video, um, I was talking about thinking, well, I was thinking that, not sure if he has re-signed an extension, but if he does go to WWE, I'm be honest with you, I think it would work. Would he have to tone down some of his language? Sure, but they would let him fly with it. If he actually... Because he was in WWE at, at one point. I, I've seen the image of him being Samoa Joe's security guy. I think when Samoa Joe was in NXT, like one of the security people. And he's done some stuff in the behind the scenes for WWE. But a, a mainstay, not only would they pay him top dollar, they would pay him big bucks. He would be the best heel in the company. Right now, the best heel in the company is Roman. Even he's like a heel tweener kind of thing. But usually, he's you would consider him a heel. He, he's arguably the best heel in the company. Well, you can say that the same thing for Seth. Seth is, he's a heel. He, I think it may be, I think it, I think I would put it up there with probably Seth and Roman. They're kind of neck and neck as the best heels in the company. But you put him in there, he's easily the top guy, the top heel, because he can get you invested with his words. He's very eloquent when it comes to speaking. He knows how to chop you down with his words. And his in ring work, is it works his in ring work you're already invested he doesn't have to do so many flips and dives and all this other stuff he has you invested now just off his words alone and that's very impressive bro so me personally if he does come to wwe that is a big that's a big win for wwe and if he doesn't resign with Tony Khan, that's going to be a major loss for AEW. AEW will still keep moving forward, but they would easily lose one of their top homegrown talents they have. So, But comment down below. Let me know, man. Are you guys excited to potentially see, a, uh, see uh, MJF become the new AEW world champion this year? I, I'm calling it. He's going to be champ at some point. So when do you guys think he will cash in and become the champ? And are you guys excited for him to be the head guy in AEW? But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 100K. I appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.